Well, look who's here. Julia and Dakota. Julia, Dakota. Hi, guys. You guys are like hanging out, I see. And what was very interesting was I have to show everybody what I found in their hands. So I told them I'm going to show everybody. So you knew I was going to show, right? Julia, I told you about it. And Dakota. Okay. One of you has something very good in his hand. One of you has something naughty in her hand. And we had to talk about it. And here we go. They have gum. They got gum somehow. But Dakota has the right gum. This is sugarless bubble gum. And he knows that he can't chew bubble gum until he turns like about, I don't know, 21 years old. Then you could chew gum. Until that Dakota, you know. No gum. Okay? Okay. Julia, we had to talk about this now. She found my stash of kosher bazooka gum. This is actually bazooka gum from Israel. The wrapper looks, you know, familiar, right? <laughs> that says bazooka in Hebrew. Um, remember, in Hebrew, you read light, left, uh, right to left. So um, that says in Hebrew, bazooka. Now, bazooka is not sugarless, okay? And everybody knows where the candy is in the house and what they can and cannot touch. And I'm not sure how she crawled over and she found it, but she took the, the sugar, the sugar full bazooka, okay? And Dakota grabbed the sugarless gum and he knows he shouldn't have gotten to that either. But at least he has a trident sugarless gum, which, you know, is actually good for your teeth. They even suggest that after you eat, you chew, you chew some Trident sugarless gum. No joke, guys. You chew it because it helps clean off the teeth afterwards for any, from any microbes that might still remain after your meal. Okay? But guys, remember, you guys can't have gum. Probably ever. Okay? Dakota, maybe when you're 21 years old. Okay, then we'll talk about it then. But Julia... Oh, by the way, Julia, you like your last, your new name now? What do you think? You like it? Yeah. She's happy with it. She looks like a Julia. You look like a Julia, don't you? Let me see. Julia. 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 <laughs> So, um, yeah, so I, I um, dressed, um, I gave a new outfit for Dakota, Mr. Handsome here, because it's cold outside. So he's wearing his polar bear shirt and nice warm pants and socks to match the shirt. And he's looking, of course, adorable, right? You know it. <laughs> you Mr. Handsome boy. And Julia, of course, is looking pretty. She can't help herself either. She's wearing her um, outfit from last week. And her pants, pretty pants and sweater. She's looking adorable. And they're just hanging together. And um, we had to talk about the gum. And, um, I, oh, I told them that I was going to sing them a song about gum, okay? So, I, and I'm going to sing you the song you promised never to go into the gum bag again, Okay? You can go into the toy bag, you can crawl over to the toys, but not the gum, because that is not healthy for either of you, and it's not healthy for me either, unless it's sugarless, okay? Okay, so everybody ready for the gum song? Raise your hand if you're ready for the gum song. Are you ready for the gum song? Okay, here we go. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? When your mother says don't chew it, do you swallow it in spite? Do you catch it on your tonsils and heave it left to right? Toot toot. Does your chewing gum lose its flavor on the bedpost overnight? What do you think? Is it funny? <laughs> Is it funny? Ah, I still want my gum. <laughs> Okay, so this is Dakota and Julia, and um, the bubble gum um, uh, situation, right? The situation. <laughs> 
And, um, okay, guys, so I'm sure everybody in the Reborn community wants to see you. And is there anything that you want to say? Mm. I know that's for Melissa mm. and Dana. Mm. For everybody, every Reborn mommy out there that's watching, right? Anything you want to say? Be cute. <laughs> okay, guys. So you like your new name, right, Julia? You like it, right? You're happy with it, right? Now you're not nameless anymore. You have a name. Oh, and Linda Deskins was the one who named you. You want to give Linda Deskins a kiss? Ready? Mm -hmm. See? Okay. I'm good.